The Downhill Crocodile Whiz by Margaret Mahi. One day, a small crocodile received an unexpected present for his last birthday but one. It was from his grandmother, who was away somewhere leading a very sprightly life of her own. The crocodile felt the parcel all over, trying to guess what might be inside it. She sent me shoes, said the crocodile in a slightly disappointed voice. But it was not shoes. It was a pair of roller skates and a letter. Dear grandson, said the letter, I am sending you my old roller skates because I am giving up skating and taking up hang gliding instead. Look after these skates very well, won't you? Because they are good ones. On these very skates, I won the ladies' all-in skating championship of Orinoco. I'm afraid you'll never be the skater that I am, but you might as well have a go. Happy birthday for your last birthday but one, your devoted grandmother. Then, at the very end of the letter, it said P T O, which stands for Please Turn Over. But the crocodile did not notice this. What does she mean? I'll never be the skater that she is. He cried, "Great Grangle Knuckers! As if I couldn't skate better than an old woman crocodile of ninety-two!" He dropped the letter and began studying the skates. "I see. You strap them onto your paws.、Oh, simple." He put the skates on straight away and stood up very confidently. Then he had to stand up all over again. Next, he shot across the room and found he was lying on his back with the skates in the air. Funny," mused the crocodile. "I wonder how that happened." At last, he managed to stand up and stay standing up, balancing cleverly with his tail. "There you are, easy," said the crocodile in rather a bruised voice. "Now I'm going to have a go outside. Somehow, I have a feeling I'm going to be a singularly splendid skater." As it happened, the crocodile lived at the very top of a very steep hill. There was absolutely nowhere to go in any direction but down. So the crocodile pointed his feet in his grandmother's skates in the direction of down, simply to have a go. Whiz! Off he went, balancing majestically with his fine tail. It's easy," thought the crocodile. "I don't see what all the fuss is about. The skates do it all for you." He went faster and faster. Whiz! A little girl called Katie was sitting in front of her gate on a tricycle. Her mother had told her never to go out of the gate because of the steepness of the hill outside. But when she saw the crocodile going past, she couldn't resist joining in too. Whiz! Went the crocodile. Whiz! Went Katie. Isn't it fun? Yelled Katie. I'll stop when you do. I don't think I'll be stopping for a while," the crocodile cried in an anxious voice. I- "I've just found out that these skates aren't the sort of skates that have brakes." They went faster and faster. Two dogs were pulling a rubbish bag to pieces, but they stopped to watch Katie and the crocodile go by. "They're having fun," barked Black Dog. "Well, let's go along too, shall we?" said Spotted Dog. "This rubbish bag is a very disappointing one." So the two dogs joined in too, wagging their tails and waving their tongues as they ran. Whiz, whiz, wag, wag. When they were further down the hill, they came across rich old Mr. Whisker tucked into his wheelchair, being wheeled across the footpath to his car by his dashing nurse, who was called Nurse Frolic. A chauffeur was holding the car door open and bowing, but unfortunately, as Katie and the crocodile whizzed by, they brushed against the wheelchair, which spun round three times and then joined in the downhill whiz and wag procession. Isn't it fun? Katie called. Sample complete. Ready to continue.